Welcome. In front of me is an LG K30 from 2019, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see right now, I have the verification of a pattern right here. And I can also choose to use a Google account to verify, right? So let's just wait for it to actually load up. And there we go. So both of them are locked. So we're gonna progress, actually backtrack a little bit. And you want to connect to Wi-Fi. So once you're connected to Wi-Fi, then you wanna go to the first page right here. And I'm gonna try to do it slowly so, uh, so you have time to actually uh, do the things that I will be saying um, and doing as well. So you wanna go into the accessibility and tap on the settings. And from here at the bottom, you'll find switch access well, it's off, so we want to tap on it and go into settings again here. And at the top, you'll find help and feedback, so tap on that. And then you can tap on either the first video right here, so about switch access for Android. If it has a video, then that's good. If it doesn't, then you want to search for Morse code. Um, and Morse code most certainly has a video. But I'm gonna tap on this because I already know that it has a video. And once it loads, tap on the video itself. It will load a bit and then you will have the option to t tap on the three dots right here, which in turn gives you access to watch later. And it will take you to the web browser. So I'll just accept and continue. Uh, we don't want to sign in, at least not yet. Okay, so once it loads, you can tap on the search bar and navigate into google.com. So google.com like so, and let's go. And it will just take us to the main page. And from here you will find sign in button at the top. So you wanna tap on that and then log into Google with your existing account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create one. You have actually a button right here to create an account. Uh, now, I already have one, so I don't need to, but just putting that out there if you don't have it. So once you create an account or you already have one, use it right here to log in. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, let's up, tap on go. And I'm gonna put in a password, so do that quickly. Now I'm going to tap on sign in and you can see that I am already signed in. And I don't want to remember this, doesn't really matter. Okay, so once we're here, uh, logged in, we want to again tap on the search bar and this time we want to search for maps. Tap on maps and it it shows up the Google Maps uh, as a website, but once you tap on it, it actually opens up the app itself, which we want. So give it a moment. We don't want to sign in, so tap on the skip button. Right at the top, there we go. You don't really need to wait for it to load. Tap on the three bars right here, gain the menu, and from here, tap on start driving. Got it, cool. So once you tap on start driving, uh, also if you have some pop-up, just disregard them, no thanks. Once you tap on the start driving, you will get a microphone option right here so you can speak to it. So what you want to do is tap on the microphone and say open Google. So I'm gonna do that right now. Open Google. Okay, again, we don't want to sign in, so disregard that. And now you should be in the Google app. It's not a browser, it's basically their app that is also associated with the device. So from here, if you actually search for stuff, it will link you to them. So we want to search for contacts. So, and there we go. Once you start typing in, you will have the contacts up right here. Stop on the contacts app, and then tap on the three dots right here. 
and we're going to go into the contact settings. Yeah. So from here, you have a couple options. You want to check on the online search. So I just tap that on and then tap on add. And again, put in your email and then password for that for an account. Um, I'm going to use the same one. So. Another password, so let me do that quickly. Okay. Oh, um, one thing to keep in mind uh, when you're typing in your email. Uh, if you're like me, I just type it in to without the other Gmail, uh, but here you actually have to. There we go, and then you actually have the accessible access of the next button. So just tap on next. Okay, and from here, let's scroll a little bit down, and you'll have the button add. So you want to tap on that. And attention, uh, you want to change. And what this allows you to do is just change the pattern that we previously have seen. Uh, when I showed you that the device was locked, there was a pattern. So, and it also had the Google verification. So now uh, just to switch it up, I'm going to choose something else. So I can choose pin. I don't want to show notifications. Let's go. And Put in the four digit pin next. Like so. And we're basically done. So all we need to do now is hold the power key and select restart. Let's wait for it to restart. So now let's just go to the setup process as we would normally do. And you can see this is previously the screen that I needed the pattern to verify your account or you could have used a Google account. But now since we changed it after before the reboot, you can see that it's verify pin, which is the one that we have set. So now you can just tap in your pin that you have chosen, tap on OK, and basically the device is now unlocked. And you can see now we have the option to sign in. It's, the, it's not the verification screen, it's just a normal sign in. So you can skip that if you wish, disregarding it. So I'm just gonna do that. And once you get access to the home screen, just skipping through the setup screen. Uh, on the home screen, you want to go into the settings and reset the device uh, just, just to remove any kind of leftovers from the, um, from the previous user. Stop more. There we go. So you can see we're now on the home screen. So let's go into the settings. And from settings, we want to go into the general. Let's go down and you'll find restart and reset. And then at the bottom, you have factory data reset. So you want to tap on that and it gives you a little message that basically this will remove any kind of Google accounts, downloaded apps and blah, blah, blah. We're basically interested in the first one, which says it well, removes the Google accounts. Um, that will also include the account that looks like they're like it's not there. But if you would reset the device differently, it would still block you. So you want to reset it from right here. 
And once you tap on it, uh, here's again the confirmation of pin that you have set. So let's just confirm that. Tap on OK and then delete all. And the process will begin. Now this will take several minutes, so just be patient. Once it's finished, uh, we will then be back in the setup screen, but this time around we will not have to confirm anything. The device will be fully unlocked and you can choose to connect to internet, uh, choose to log into Google, uh, or if you wish you can skip all of it. So I'll be back once we're back in the home screen. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so we can go to the setup process. Now I'm gonna skip through most of it just to preserve on time, and so you can see that the device is fully unlocked. So number one, you have the option to just tap on next without even turning on Wi-Fi, which is something that you wouldn't be able to do if you would need to verify your account. Tap on next. I don't really want to secure anything. Skip. And there we go. So we're now on back on the home screen with the device fully unlocked. Any kind of leftover from the previous account is now completely gone. And you can set up your device the way you want to. Everything will be working just fine. So that is how you would bypass the Google verific verification screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.